Hey friends, welcome back. Today I am at the Cozy Corner house. It is adorable, it is super tiny. I'm gonna be redecorating the inside, leaving the walls as they are, and maybe giving just a mini facelift to the front or the exterior, if you will. And I'm gonna be having some fun in here. So here we go inside, and as you can see, as I mentioned, it is very tiny. It just has an open space for the kitchen and living, a bedroom, and a bathroom. So I think I'm gonna extend the wall of the bathroom just a bit and leave the rest as it is. And for me, I would prefer to have the kitchen in a bigger area than the living room, so I'm likely just going to be switching them sides. So let's get a closer look at what we have here before we go ahead and redo it. So it's like a cozy little living area with a small little table for dining on the side, the front door, and a cozy corner kitchen over here. We head over to the bedroom, very simple little decoration. And then just a little washroom. There's enough space to have a little horse here as well. Very cute. At the moment, I don't know who will live here. I'm just going to redecorate it very neutrally for the future. And we'll be right back. See how it goes. Okay, so I am back. This is the front of the house. As I mentioned, I didn't do too much to it. I kind of just changed the paint. It's like still wood paneling, but a little bit cleaner than before. Looked like the paint was falling off the walls before, so now it looks a little cuter. I preserved the brown wood around the house and for the little set up here for the horse. I added a cute little seat outside so they can sit under the tree and maybe read. I added a small bike and now we'll head inside. So let's take a look. So when we head in, we have the little living room where the kitchen was. It's a small nook area, very cozy. Then on the other side here, I mean the kitchen has a small island and they can eat outside if they'd like. So very neutral with a little marble accent wall. I think it's adorable. And we'll head into the bedroom here. And then a little brick accent wall and just something very cozy. I turned the bathroom into an ensuite, also has a door from the hallway. This is the first time I ever make such a long bathroom, I think, but it turned out kind of cute, so I'm happy with it. We'll take a look from up top. So this is the final floor plan. Let me know down below what you thought and if you had fun, if you think it looks better than before or if you liked it as it was. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.